I'm John Holland Kay, I'm the Chief Executive of Heathrow Airport and I've been here for the last eight years. My first proper job after leaving university was working for a strategy consulting company called LEK and I started out as an analyst and then worked my way up. Leadership is about vision, it's about communication and it's about people and quite often you have somebody who maybe is a little bit unconfident but has great natural abilities and our job is to help to bring out those talents and give people opportunities and just stretch them. We have a really good management team here and I don't like to interfere too much in what they're doing so I tend to work with them, agree what the strategy is and let them get on with it and I find that's one of the most motivating ways to get the best out of me. There are 76,000 people who work across the airport but the common ground for all of us is our passenger. Our vision is to give passengers the best airport service in the world. We deliver great service um, through what we call our four priorities. The first is Mojo, making Heathrow a great place to work. Uh, the second is transforming customer service, making sure we have a really strong passenger orientated culture. Uh, the third is, is Beat the Plan, making sure we're growing our income faster than we intended. And finally, it's sustainable growth. So from 2025 onwards, we will have more capacity here, we'll be able to uh, have more flights coming in and out. But we have to do that in the right way. We've got to be a good neighbour, we've got to play our part as a, a UK national asset in helping connect all of the UK regions to all the growing markets of the world. And we've got to play our part globally by tackling things like climate change. So uh, we've got a very progressive agenda here and we work with all of the businesses at Heathrow to make sure we're all working towards the same goal. Well, the big prize from Brexit, of course, is to have a thriving economy, growing numbers of jobs, and that actually applies for both the European Union and for the UK. And it's businesses who create the, those jobs and that growth. So I would hope that the government will listen to business and make sure that we have a really uh, business-focused Brexit plan. I think relationships do matter in business. We are a very long-term investor. You know, we're, we're not going anywhere. We're, we're going to keep on uh, building our business up and we need partners who understand what matters to us and will help us to deliver our goals and NACE uh, do that in a whole number of ways in skills from a political point of view and in just getting on and delivering the really important projects we have across the airport.